السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, Good morning my dear students I am Ms. Suhail Zakia Abdel Fattah from Victoria College Alexandria and I will continue our curriculum uh, today in science middle stage grip 1 uh, our lesson today is uh, about adaptation and diversity of living organisms. Let's start. As we can see in this figure, there are a lot of living organisms around the world. There are a lot of environments, uh, different environments around the world. This caused the adaptation and diversity of living organisms. In our lesson today, we will discuss three points. Adaptation types, number two, adaptation and motion. Number three, adaptation and food nature. Our question is about why do adaptation and diversity of living organisms take place? Leafy adaptation, leafy diversity between the living organisms. This is because the multiplicity of environments where living organisms live were the most important reason lead to the living organisms diversity. So there are a lot of environment, there are many, many environment around us and there are many conditions in this environment. We have climate change, we have different climates in different environments around us and also the food diversity, each animal has its own type of food so uh, it must adapt to get his food, to reach his food and also the existence of water are the three most important factors that cause the diversity and adaptation of living organisms. What is meant by adaptation? Adaptation is the modification in a living organism or its body structure or even the biological function of its organ to become more adapted to the environmental conditions while it lives in it. And how is that? If we talk about the desert, it's very hard condition. We have a rail of water, no uh, water uh, available in most of it. A very uh, high temperature during the daytime and very, very cold uh, at night. And there is no uh, available food in most of uh, the desert environment. So how the animals live in this environment can modify themselves. The animals, they adapt to the desert environment, how they cope this environment. This will be discussed in our lesson. In forest, a lot of living organisms live in forest. Forest uh, has a large number of living organisms and um, um, very wide diversity. So each organism in uh, the forest will be adapted to uh, the way he live and the way uh, uh, the young of uh, this living organism live and how they get their food and how they reach the water. Also in uh, seas and oceans, water environment, marine organisms are very, very large number of uh, organisms live in water, in seas, oceans, and in rivers, in lakes, how these organisms adapted to the uh, environment and how they got uh, the food, how they uh, uh, live and how they hide from their enemies. So, the living organism uh, modify themselves to adapt to the environment around them. What are the types of adaptation? 
The first one is the, the structural adaptation. What is meant by structural adaptation? Structural adaptation means the structure of the body organ. Uh, each of mammals, for example, uh, has four uh, limbs, four uh, legs, but the structure differ from one to the other depending on the environment in which this animal live in. For example, the difference between horse hoof and camel bed. If we uh, take a look to these types of um, legs or the, or the limbs, you will notice that the end is completely different when we look at the horse hoof. It's hard and it's uh, suitable for climbing the rocky uh, environment, while in case of camel bed, it's uh, flat and it's uh, suitable to uh, move uh, in um, uh, hot desert sand. So the structure is different according to the environment. This is called structural adaptation. The second type of adaptation is functional adaptation. In uh, our body, there are a lot of uh, um, sweat glands and sweat glands secreting sweat in case of high temperature. While in case of snakes, the same glands secrete poison. So the ability of some organs and tissues to do a specific function, cope the environment and cope the conditions in which this living organism move and live. So functional adaptation is the ability of some organs and tissues to do a specific function. And for example, secreting sweat in case of high temperature in mammals and secreting poison in case of snakes. The third type of adaptation is the behavioral adaptation. And the behavioral adaptation, like what uh, um, happened in case of birds migration. In case of birds migration, some types of birds fly from the uh, cold, the polar region, especially in winter, and uh, move to uh, more warm uh, regions. Uh, and return back to their home in spring. This is an example of uh, behavioral adaptation in which uh, the living organism change its habit or change its place or move from uh, their home to another place for a while, then return back uh, for the suitable condition. Okay? So, what is the main reasons of adaptation? If I asked you, what are the reasons of adaptation? Living organism responds in all types of environment on Earth. And what are the reasons to adapt? They adapt for these reasons. Number one, to get food. They need to feed themselves. So, they search for food and they adapt according to the food exist in the environment. The second reason is the, the motion. They need to move. So, and also um, according to the type of environment, if it, uh, it, uh, it's a desert, if it's uh, uh, a rocky soil, if uh, it's uh, uh, um, a bond or uh, um, a water, it needs a different type of uh, uh, adaptation to move easily in uh, the environment. Also, how these animals escape from the enemies in dangerous situations. This is the third reason. So, there are three reasons of adaptation. Number one, to get food. Number two, uh, the motion, uh, number three, to escape from the enemies.
the first type of adaptation that we are going to discuss is the adaptation and motion. Adaptation and motion diversity, especially in mammals. Mammals differ in the way in um, movement. So there are mammals that move on their feet uh, in desert, like camel, and some others um, move in on rocky soil, such as horses. Some others can fly, like bats. Uh, others can swim like whales and dolphins and um, some others um, can also um, differ according to the um, environment like the monkeys that uh, need to climb trees so the adaptation differ according to the environment let's see what are the modification uh, examples of front limbs in mammals number one bottles in uh, whales and dolphins are uh, modified um, the front limbs are modified into bottles to adapt the uh, water environment and to allow them for swimming this is the first example for the um, modification of front limbs in mammals. In bats, bats uh, are flying animals, so the four limbs um, modified into wings to help them for flying. While, as we mentioned before, the legs of the horse are adapted and modified to allow them to uh, walk and to run in hard soil uh, and on rocks so they adapted for running last but not least the long arms of monkeys are adapted for climbing and catching things so these are four examples for the modification of front limbs in mammals. We have paddles for uh, whales and dolphins to allow them swimming, uh, wings for bats to allow them flying, and um, hard hoofs in uh, horses to allow them running, long arms of monkeys to allow them climbing and catching things. So modification in mammals enable them to move in different ways and um, cook their lifestyle. Let's uh, take a close uh, scene of uh, a camel bed and a house hoof. Camel bed ends with uh, a thick, flat um, uh, leg that enable the camel to walk easily on hot desert sand, while the horse hoof ends in a strong, solid uh, leg that uh, help the horse to move easily on rocky soil. So they are completely different uh, in structure. Secondly, we will discuss the adaptation and nature uh, of adaptation and food in birds. If uh, we look at these uh, photos of birds, we will um, Notice that they differ completely in the beaks. Also, the legs are different completely to cook the environment and uh, to get food and to walk easily in the environment. Let's start with the first type of beaks. The first type of beaks is for uh, the predatory such as uh, hooks and vultures. Hooks and vultures 
and um, uh, carnivorous birds that need to tear the flesh um, they have a special type of beak and legs the beak as you uh, notice in the figure uh, is very sharp very strong and cooked to enable them to tear the prey while if we take a look at the legs the birds have four fingers three uh, in uh, the front and one at the back these four fingers allow the uh, predatory birds to um, control the prey and help them to cut down their prey and uh, allow them to feed themselves. So this is the first type and the, uh, the photo of course for the eagle, uh, the bald eagle um, is clearly uh, showing that the sharp strong uh, beak and also the structure of the legs and fingers. The second type of birds are birds that live in shallow water. Let's see the structure of these birds. If we look at this bird, uh, you will notice that uh, the bird has long and thin beak. Why this bird have long and uh, thin beak? to allow it to pick up worms and snails. علشان يلقط الورمز والسنيلز من الووتر the big structure is like in the figure very long and thin to pick these worms and snails from the water. And if we look at the Alex, you will notice that these birds also have very very long and thin legs to allow them to walk easily in shallow water. The third type of birds is the water birds like ducks and geese and if we look at the beak of these birds you will notice that the beak have white indented uh, beaks in the two sides to help them to filter the food from water. The duck has a beak in the beak and the beak of the beak is very short. There are beaks of the beak. بتبقى عاملة زي الأسنان الصغيرة بيقدر بيها إن هو يعمل فلتريشن للفود from the water and also it's a broad peak to allow them to take the great quantity of water then filter the water out and keep the food inside his peak if we take a look at the legs the legs are adapted to swimming, so they are balm. The legs here عاملة زي بالضبط الحاجات الزعاني في اللي إحنا بنلبسها لما بنيجي نعمل عملية diving في 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 الماية. ف to help swimming, the legs of this type of birds are balm. Palm يعني إيه يعني بيبقى في زوائد جلدية ملحومة ما بين الفينجرز وبعضها to allow swimming. Let's move to another type of adaptation. It's adaptation of insectivorous plants. What are insectivorous plants? Insectivorous plants are green plants. Can do photosynthesis process to get food like any other plants, but they need also to form proteins, and they cannot do uh, or um, uh, create proteins by themselves. So they are adapted to get proteins by eating insects. 
So therefore, are adapted to catch insect and to digest insect inside their body to absorb the nitrogenous substance uh, needed to form proteins. Let's see uh, some types of these plants. Duracera, Dionia, and Halophila. And the, the, the Dionia plant, um, uh, we uh, can imagine that when the insect just uh, go inside the leaf and um, uh, absorb some of the uh, sweaty substance inside this uh, plant, the uh, leaves just closed on the insect leaves. على insect ويبتدي plant يعمل digestion لل insect علشان يحصل على nitrogenous substance needed to form proteins. Okay. The third uh, point in our lesson is adaptation and environmental conditions. Um, the first type of adaptation in this case is the hibernation. And uh, hibernation caused in winter. And uh, the uh, example of uh, the hibernation living organism uh, exists in the frog. It's a, a wonderful example for the animals that do hibernation. In winter, uh, the temperature is decreased and uh, these uh, animals hide in piles and um, uh, slow down all the activities, uh, stop feeding, and their activities are slowing down and uh, decreased very, very much. So they can live in uh, these piles until the hard conditions, the cold temperature is going away. And uh, when uh, it becomes warmer again, they uh, return back to life and uh, go out from their piles. In the frogs, uh, in the hard um, time of winter, when the temperature is decreased, uh, the uh, frog and sometimes um, other types of reptiles بيدخلوا جوه الجحور بتاعتهم بيضغطوا بالمد والمد ده اللي هو الكلي أو التين وبيبتدوا إن هم يعملوا slowing down for the activities um, until the uh, weather becomes warmer again. So this is called hibernation. The second type is estivation. It's the same like hibernation, but it's caused in uh, summer uh, by some animals uh, exist in desert. Uh, these animals uh, suffer from extreme rising in temperature. Temperature becomes very, very hot and the water becomes very, very well. Uh, they cannot find their water and um, they expose it to very high temperatures, so they uh, hide in a humid pyro and uh, slow down their activity until the uh, hot temperature is going away and uh, the temperature becomes suitable again. Examples for this type of uh, uh, animals, Jobu. Uh, and desert snails and also some types of uh, insects exist in the desert. So, estivation takes place in summer while hibernation takes place in cold winter. The third uh, type is the bird migration and uh, as we discussed before, bird migration for sometimes uh, some species of birds uh, adapted by migrate from cold and polar regions during winter to uh, more warmer uh, regions uh, to reproduce themselves for reproduction, then return back to their original habitats 
after uh, the weather becomes warmer like the coral pearl and the coral pearl اللي هو عبارة عن طائر السمان ودي من الطيور المهاجرة اللي بتجيلنا في مصر في السيزون السائع بتاع أوروبا وفعلا بنلاقيها كتير على الشواطئ بتاعتنا وبعد كده بترجع لبلادها تاني في فصل الربيع فده من الطيور المعروفة بالنسبة لنا في مصر Uh, there are um, also um, adaptation in hiding. Some animals uh, change their color or um, cope the environment by matching the environment. It's not uh, for animals only, but also uh, in insects. Um, we can uh, observe some insects like uh, leaf insects. Um, you can hardly Uh, recognize the presence of leaf insects um, in uh, the uh, tree or the, in uh, the, the forest because um, this type of insect um, match the uh, structure of the plant leaf. It looks like the plant leaf exactly in color and shape. Also, the stick insect, which uh, match the stick, and um, also you can hardly recognize the presence of stick insect uh, on a tree or on uh, the plant branch or uh, uh, in the forest. So these types of uh, insects cope their environment and adapt by hiding themselves from the animals. Uh, a wonderful type uh, and amazing um, animal in adaptation, it's uh, the king of adaptation at all, uh, is the chameleon. Chameleon uh, colors itself with the dominant color of the environment. Chameleon he can hide uh, himself uh, by changing the, uh, the color of uh, Uh, himself just like the environment he exists in. So let's see some photos about a chameleon. This one in a rocky environment. You can hardly notice uh, the presence of the chameleon here. And this one on uh, the uh, tree branch. This one in the desert. And this amazing one in multi-color uh, uh, background. So uh, the chameleon is the best in camouflage. And camouflage is the ability of some living organisms to be hidden from the animals or to capture the prey in the predatory species. So um, there are... Um, a type of adaptation by hiding the, uh, the animal himself in the environment and uh, this is uh, um, the examples of this type of adaptation we uh, saw uh, how some insects like as a leaf insect and stick insect and also here um, uh, an example from reptiles and the best example at all which is the chameleon. Finally we reach to the uh, desert ship. The desert ship is the, the best example for adaptation. It includes the three types of adaptation, structural adaptation, functional adaptation, and behavioral adaptation. The camel includes these all three types. He can adapt it with very, very hot uh, temperature. He can decrease the amount uh, of water he um, drinks and uh, he can store a lot of fat and a lot of water 
and the hair on uh, his body uh, is distributed in uh, a way that uh, make uh, the um, him, him a very warm at uh, the cold desert and um, also his mouth is adapted to eat the spiny um, uh, desert plants like cactus and uh, very dry plant exist in the desert and as we discussed before uh, the structural adaptation in his limbs that allow him to walk easily on hot desert uh, sand uh, without complaining. So this is a desert shape and it includes all types of adaptation, structural adaptation, functional adaptation and also behavioral adaptation. Okay. Let's have a, a short summary. Uh, the first thing that we discussed in our lesson is what is meant by adaptation. And adaptation is a modification in behavior, structure, or the biological function of a living organism uh, in which organs become more adjustable with the environmental condition where it lives. What are the types of adaptation? The structural or uh, anatomical adaptation, uh, functional adaptation, and behavioral adaptation. And as we discussed, the structural adaptation is found in many uh, of mammals, especially in their uh, front limbs. Like in this uh, photo, the uh, beetle of uh, uh, wheels, the limbs in case of uh, horse and uh, camel, uh, the wings in, ca in case of uh, bats, and the long arms in case of monkeys. And uh, uh, the second type is the functional adaptation, and uh, as we discussed in case of snake, the uh, skin of snake secrete uh, poison, uh, um, uh, and instead of uh, sweat in uh, humans and in uh, mammals. A behavioral adaptation uh, and uh, our famous example is uh, coil birds uh, in which they migrate from the cold polar uh, region uh, to the warm region to reproduce, then uh, they return back to uh, their home in spring. So there are three types of adaptation, structural adaptation, functional adaptation, and behavioral adaptation. What are the main reasons of adaptation? In animals, we have three uh, main reasons. The uh, ensure to get food, the way uh, of movement, the uh, way uh, to escape from enemies. The, these three points are the reasons for uh, the animals to adapt or to cope the environment. In plants, the plants adapt to the environmental conditions, uh, as um, we discussed in case of. Uh, uh, hiding from animals, uh, such as in case of uh, the, the uh, sorry, uh, in a plant uh, such as in case of insectivorous plant, in which plant uh, catch insects to get uh, protein uh, by digestion of these insects. Modification of front limbs in mammals, uh, in uh, which uh, the uh, mammals uh, cope their environment. So, um, in uh, in uh, the in case of um, uh, swimming, uh, the four limb uh, adapted by modified into uh, paddles. In case of flying, like pads, the four limb uh, adapted by modifying into wings. And in case of climbing, like monkeys, uh, the uh, long arms uh, help the monkeys to climb uh, trees. 
and in case of running and moving on hot soil uh, the um, uh, horses uh, hooves allow them to move easily in the environment let's go to our quiz today Okay, our first lesson, uh, sorry, our first question, complete the following, this uh, quiz also from AKB, uh, Egyptian Knowledge Bank, the first question uh, complete, beaks and legs of birds are modified according to dash and dash. Yes. They are modifying to food diversity and environmental condition. So the beaks and legs of birds are modified according to the uh, way of the bird uh, getting his food and the environmental condition. So uh, we discussed how the eagle have sharp um, uh, crooked uh, beaks and how strong uh, his uh, fingers and uh, clothes are uh, while in case of uh, shallow uh, water birds how they have long long legs and long uh, thin uh, beaks to catch uh, worms uh, from the water and uh, in case of uh, um, birds like uh, ducks and geese how they have broad uh, identified uh, beaks and uh, palm legs to adapt to their environment in wood. Next question. In winter, crops hide in burrows and that is called dash, while in summer, jerbu hides in humid burrows and that is called dash. What is the scientific term in case of uh, hiding of frogs in winter and hiding of jerbu in hot summer days? Yes, in case of frogs it's called hibernation, while in case of uh, jerbu it's called estivation. Next question. Click yes or no. Bird migration is an acquired behavior. Is this an acquired behavior? Is the birds taught other birds how to behave and how to move from the bad weather in cold winter to warm place? No. It's a and uh, a normal behavior. Click yes or no, Dionia and Clover cannot absorb the nitrogenous substance from the soil. Dionia and Clover cannot absorb the nitrogenous substance from the soil. What is Clover? Clover it's a low and a bad el shair tab. Let's show the answer. It's wrong because clover can absorb the nitrogenous substance from the soil, while dionia cannot. Let's choose the correct answer. Number of anterior fingers of ox is yes, it's three. Next question. The camel's limb ends with a thick flat bed to enable it to climb mountains, run on rocky soil, walk on hot desert sand, escape from enemies. Yes, it's the correct answer. 
is walk on the hot desert sand. Next question. Write the scientific term. It's a form of adaptation in some species of birds where they migrate to the same places at the same time every year. What this behavior is called? زي ما قلنا قبل كده طائر السمان أو الكويل بيرد migrate from cold polar regions to the warm regions to reproduce and stay there until the hard conditions in Europe uh, is going away and then return back to the home. So it's uh, the bird migration. Next, define adaptation. What is meant by adaptation? Yes, of course, adaptation is the modification of a living organism behavior or body structure or organs, biological function, like uh, uh, in case of snakes that secrete poison from the skin, to become more adapted to the environmental condition where it lives. Next, what is meant by functional adaptation? Let's think. Functional adaptation. Yes, it's the ability of some body organs and tissues to do a specific function. Mention the use or the uses of white indented beaks in the two sides of water birds that fit on mosses. Like in case of ducks and geese. What are the function or the use of the beaks in case of this type of birds. Of course, the beaks help them to filter their food from the water, as we discussed in case of ducks. What happens if no estivation happens to gerbil? If the jerpu animal cannot do a stivation, what will happen to it during the hard condition, during the hot desert days where the temperature is very high and he can't uh, get his food or water? What will happen to him? Yes, it will not be able to overcome the high temperature and uh, so this animal will be die. Answer the following. What is the reason of living organisms diversity? Leave it an hour for living organisms. نتفقنا ان diversity caused by multiplicity of environment. This is the essential uh, reason. There are many, many environments like desert environment, water environment, forest environment, uh, mountain environment, and so on. So, multiplicity of environments where living organisms live is the most important reason that led to diversity for this animal to cope 
with the environmental changes. Next question. What happens when some plants cannot absorb nitrogenous substance from the soil? Yes, the plants can absorb nitrogenous substance from the soil. So they adapt by eating insects. Some parts of these plants adapt by modifying to capture and digest insects. Then they will absorb the nitrogenous substance needed for the bodies to form proteins. Next question. Mention the reasons of adaptation in animals and plants. What are the reasons of adaptation in animals and plants? Why is the animals and plants adapt? Yes, animals ab adapt to get food and to escape from their enemies and to move easily in the environment while plants are adapted to suit the different conditions in their environment such as obtaining water or getting nitrogenous compounds like in case of uh, insectivorous plants dionia for example Modification of birds, legs, and legs is necessary. Why is this modification is necessary? This is our last question today. Why birds have different types of beaks and legs? Yes, modification of birds are necessary to suit the kind of food and the modification of legs is necessary to suit the way of movement or the motion style in the different environment. Thank you for listening and meet you again next week, inshallah. Goodbye and good luck.